is a big HSA tax break in jeopardy. Hi, this is financial planner Sean Mullaney. Let's discuss. So health savings accounts, tax-free growth for qualified medical expenses, people love them. And one aspect that people really like is the ability to reimburse yourself tax and penalty free for old medical expenses without any time restriction. There's no three year rule, five year rule. So you can open an HSA in your 20s or 30s, and then you have your sprained ankles, your minor medical procedures, maybe a hospital stay, even, um, you know, medication costs, whatever it might be in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And then in your 70s, 80s, you know, many years later, you reimburse yourself for those medical expenses tax and penalty free. And it could be maybe 60 years of tax free growth. Isn't that a tax loophole that Congress is going to put on the chopping block? Well, I'm here to say probably not for three important reasons. The first one has to do with the relative value to the federal government of the HSA tax break in general, right? So I'm going to link to some research in the description below. It says that give or take, you know, roughly speaking, in the year 2022, there was something like $100 billion of money in health savings accounts. Okay, well, let's think about what was in Roth IRAs around that same time. Turns out it was like 13 times more, something like $1.3 trillion. So if we're thinking about um, tax breaks from Congress's perspective, a little tax-free growth even for 60 years on something like $100 billion when Roth IRAs themselves are $1.3 trillion, much bigger fish to fry for Congress than the health savings account is. And then here's another thought experiment for just a real quick second, right? Imagine a world that goes real haywire and Congress confiscated all $100 billion in HSAs in the year 2022, right? A real haywire world where we'd have much more than tax planning to worry about. But let's just do that thought experiment for a quick sec. You know what that would have done to the fiscal year 2022 uh, federal deficit? It would have reduced it from $1.4 trillion to $1.3 trillion, right? So if you're Congress... You know, HSA tax breaks just don't move the needle that much in terms of the federal deficit. All right, so that's one reason. I just think that it's way below the radar to really be on Congress's chopping block. But here's the second reason. I think this is actually a much more important reason. It's this. It's the HSA death tax. No one talks about this. Uh, Here's what happens, right? You pass away, you leave your HSA to your spouse. Great. It becomes his or her HSA, and there's no tax at your death. Great. People love that. Well, what if you're a widower or widowed when you die? Or what if you're single, you never got married? Well, guess what? If you leave that HSA to any other human being, your son, daughter, adult sibling, niece, nephew, whoever it might be, that HSA becomes fully taxable income to your heir, to your beneficiary in the year of your death. And it stacks upon on top of their other income. So it might shoot them into a new tax bracket for a year. So what's going to happen is this. If folks don't spend down their HSAs tax and penalty free, and they leave them to kids, to adult siblings, to nieces, nephews, whoever it might be, those folks are going to inherit those HSAs. And because they inherited money because of your death, They're going to have a big tax bill. And guess what they're going to do when they get that tax bill? They're going to send a nasty gram to their congressman, right? This is is lurking as a surprise. People don't know about this, right? So folks are going to pay a lot of tax because they inherited HSAs, and Congress is going to get some angry constituents, right? So if Congress has put two and two together, what they're going to want is they're going to want the widows and widowers of the world, the folks who are in their 70s and 80s, to deplete their HSAs before they leave them to the next generation, right? So if Congress were to put like a three-year limit on the ability to do tax and penalty-free reimbursements from HSAs or a five-year time limit, that's going to trap so much more money inside those HSAs. And then when mom and dad pass away and junior gets that HSA, junior's going to pay a lot of tax. They're going to get pissed off. They're going to write some nasty grams to Congress. I just don't see that happening, right? So if Congress has put two and two together, uh, I think they're going to want that unlimited uh, reimbursement time frame. They want the mom and dads of the world 
to empty out those HSAs, tax and penalty free. Third reason I think the HSA tax break for the unlimited reimbursement time frame will persist is because of the high deductible health plan policy behind HSAs. You got to remember, there's a reason HSAs exist. And the reason is this, it's to encourage folks to sign up for high deductible health plans as their medical insurance. The idea behind the high deductible health plan is let's have folks pay higher deductibles so they have more skin in the game when they go to the doctor's office, they go to the hospital, whatever it might be. And by having more skin in the game, hopefully they become more price sensitive and they then drive down the price of medical expenses. Now we could debate that if that actually happens, if that's good policy, but it is the policy behind the high deductible health plan. And what's going to happen is this, if you trap money inside an HSA by saying, well, you can only use that to reimburse yourself for the last two years, three years, five years of qualified medical expenses, folks are going to say, oh boy, that HSA isn't as good because more of that money is trapped. And then I don't want to adopt an HSA. I don't want to have a high deductible health plan and an HSA if the money becomes a lot more trapped inside that HSA. So I think to keep folks signing up for these high deductible health plans, Congress is going to want the HSA itself to be as attractive as possible. For those, for, you know, so for those three reasons, I'm pretty sure Congress is not going to time restrict tax and penalty free reimbursements for qualified medical expenses from the HSA anytime soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please mash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.